Welcome back to Daybreak. We are here with Peter Booth from the Art Center of Western Colorado. Peter, how are you? Just fine. And yourself? I am living. It's, <laughs> it's, it's early in the morning for me, but we're, uh, we're, we're chugging along. All so right. uh, glad to have you here. And uh, what's going on at the Art Center this weekend? And, you know, just in general, what's going on at the Art Center? Well, there's always a lot of activities going on. We have our classes. We have our um, both adults and kids. But next Tuesday, we have a concert. Mm -hmm. It's our, uh, it's our Music in the Vineyard series, mm -hmm. and next Tuesday, out at Two Rivers Winery, okay. we have Mark Allen Band. He's a, he's a native Coloradoan. He has some very, very gritty vocals that talks about life in a sort of home, down-home fashion. And it's a very, very fun event. Yeah. It's, um, of course, being at Two, um, Two Rivers Winery, Wine's available, but you can bring your own chairs and blanket and set out with your, um, bring your own picnic. Don't bring your own wine, though. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's, the, that's the only thing you can't bring is your own, your own beverages, Indeed. right? Um, so along with that, you've also got the Art and Antlers Festival coming up, right? Yeah, so this is something for your viewing audience that we want to share. Put on your calendar. So people in the Valley know about Moose Days, which went on up top in the Mesa, uh, on Grand Mesa for many, many years. Well, we were expanding it. We've moved it down to the town of Mesa okay. at their community center, which is a neat old historic um, school that has been renovated and turned into this event uh, center. And we're going to add to the Moose Day event with working with Colorado Parks and Wildlife. We're going to have music. We're going to have art. We're going to have food. It's going to be a festival. It's going to be a whole a whole party up uh, uh, in the city of Mesa, right? All right, a whole party. It's, Come it, on up. And is it like it's like an old renovated schoolhouse? It's you, an old renovated schoolhouse that they've um, turned into an event center and they added to it and expanded it. And so just going to see that is really neat. Yeah. But there are going to be art festivals, so we'll have arts, we'll have crafts, we're going to have a plein air um, contest. And if anybody's not what used to what a plein air contest is, that's where artists used to do before photography is go out and do a painting on site, take that back to their studio and use that to build other artwork. Well, that tradition has been maintained by some artists that go out and do everything out on the site. And so we'll have our own contest on that. Very nice. And then are those going to be, you know, shown in the, uh, in the art center at, well, at, at Western Colorado? At, or? At, at the end of the day, they're brought in down and shown, and we have a contest, and people will have an opportunity to buy that, along with all the other arts and crafts, music, kids' activities, and et cetera. It's going to be fun. It's a whole, it's, we're starting, we're starting summer off, right? Right. So you gotta, right. you gotta get into the, gotta get into the mood and gotta get into... July 27th. July 27th is when that, that Art and Antlers Festival is, uh... Exactly. Coming up. So that's about a month away, so put it on your calendars, folks. Um, Peter, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for, um, for sharing all the, sharing all the cool, fun events that are going on at the Art Center. Anything else you want to share with us that's going on? Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful beginning of your summer. Yeah. Come on down to the Arts, Art Center. If you want to know about everything that's happening, please become a member. For sure. Thank you so much, Peter. Thank we'll be right back.